we have heard of Homo erectus, heard of Homo habilis, and then there's Homo neanderthalensis besides Homo sapiens. But have you heard of Homo gotengensis? Some even say that they are not a valid species. We shall discuss about that later, but for now, let us see what this species is all about. Homo gotengensis is known for their big teeth. Fossils of this species showed that they had big teeth to chew plant materials. The actual timeline of this species has not been defined, but some say they lived approximately between 1.2 to 1 million years ago. A partial skull was found in Sturk Fontaine Cave near Johannesburg, South Africa in 1977 and was proposed by biological anthropologist Darren Kernel in 2010. Several jaws, teeth and other bones were also found at the site which were actually thought to be of Homo habilis. Studying the specimens, Kernel concluded that the individuals of this species had small brain and big teeth. The big teeth were probably to chew plant materials and said that they probably consumed more vegetable matter than Homo erectus. And due to the small brains, most researchers believed they lacked in communication skills. This species was found to have stood just between 3 to 3.6 feet tall and weighed about 50 kilograms. Researchers also say they could walk on two feet when on the ground but probably spend considerable time in trees, perhaps feeding, sleeping and escaping predators according to Kernel. But besides all, they believe it was a pretty close relative of the Homo sapiens although not a direct ancestor. Homo gotengensis seems to have been a more specialized omnivore adapted to life on solid ground. This toothy plant chomping literal tree swinger at one point was named the world's earliest recognized species of human. Despite that, so little is known about it. Besides physical characteristics, not much is known about this species except that they used stone tools and even made fire which was evident from the burnt animal bones found close by the fossils. Now as to why some people still ask if Homo gotengensis is a valid species. This is because the fossils, especially that of the cranium, tends to resemble those East African specimens that are the most australopith-like in the manifestation of mid-facial traits. The incompleteness of the cranium has made it very difficult for scientists to make any definite diagnosis. Due to this reason, some believe that Homo gotengensis is a compilation of fossil specimens from different species, most of them belonging to the australopiths but perhaps also a few fragments from Homo erectus and Homo habilis. In general, there is neither enough information to support nor dismiss Homo gotengensis as a novel species and more research needs to be done in order to form a conclusion. So ending in the words of Kernow himself, we don't know if we wiped our relatives out or if we were lucky enough to survive climate change at the end of the last ice age and other species were not. Well, tell me what you think of this species guys in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. For more related videos, remember to check our channel out as you know we have made tons just for you. Also, do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.